Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, Mammoth Marvels. Welcome to another episode of Mammoth Mysteries with your favorite Ice Age investigator, Tusk McFluffy. Today, we're diving into the frosty world of woolly mammoths. Ready to unearth some mammoth facts? Let's get started. Do you recognize this animal? Here's a hint. Its fur might be considered woolly. If you said woolly mammoth, you're right. Today, we're going to talk all about this cool ancestor of modern day elephants. Wanna know why woolly mammoths were so woolly? It is because they lived on Earth during a time period called an ice age. An ice age happens when the Earth's global temperature lowers enough that the ice on the polar caps expands significantly, which leaves the land in North America and Northern Europe covered in giant sheets of ice and glaciers. Scientists have discovered that the Earth has experienced at least five significant ice ages during its history. Woolly mammoths appeared on Earth around 300,000 years ago during one of the Earth's ice ages. This is why mammoths had not one, but two layers of fur. The coarser outer layer of fur could be as long as 20 inches and help the mammoth stay warm in the extreme cold with temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pop quiz time. Are you ready to test your knowledge? Woolly mammoths had fur because they lived during an ice age. A, true, B, false. Did you select the option A, yes, you are right. Scientists estimate that woolly mammoths were around 13 feet tall, which is about the size of African elephants. But woolly mammoths had much smaller ears, which helped them maintain body heat in the frigid temperatures. They also had 15-foot-long tusks that they used to dig under the ice and snow for food, like grasses and shrubs. Woolly mammoths had a lump on their back, which scientists think were stores of fat that provided energy when food was hard to find, kind of like a camel's hump. Super interesting, right? Woolly mammoths mostly gave birth to one calf at a time, with the females and their babies roaming in herds of about 15. Male woolly mammoths would leave the herd around the time they turned 10 years old. Scientists are not quite sure why woolly mammoths became extinct, but most think it was either because of humans overhunting mammoths, or that when the earth began to warm, it destroyed the mammoths' habitats or that it was a combination of both of these things. No matter the cause, most woolly mammoths became extinct around 10,000 years ago. It's time for another question. Why do scientists think woolly mammoths became extinct? A, overhunting by humans. B, warming of the earth. C, both A and B, D, a meteor strike. Did you select the option C? Yes, you are absolutely right. But, wait, here's another interesting fact. The last known group of woolly mammoths survived until around the year 1650 BCE, which is over 1,000 years after the pyramids at Giza were built. So, how do scientists know so much about mammoths? It's because they have actually been able to study mammoth remains. In 2012, an 11-year-old boy in Russia was walking his dog when he stumbled over something sticking out of the ground. He realized he had tripped over the partial remains of a woolly mammoth. This discovery helped scientists figure out a lot of things about how the creature lived and what it looked like. And in 2022, a mummified baby mammoth was discovered in Canada after being buried for over 30,000 years. Wow, who knew there was so much to learn about woolly mammoths? Today, we explored the amazing world of woolly mammoths. We learned about their fur, size, tusks, and why they went extinct. We also discovered cool facts about their remains and what scientists have found. And remember, this mammoth-sized adventure was brought to you by Goalie, the best kids' tablet. My mind is blown! Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads. There's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.